Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Welcome for animals by Shwamitra Day. And today's video is about the medical abbreviations your vets use while writing a prescription. And you can't understand it. It's quite natural that you will not understand because it's written in Latin words. In Latin words it's written so you can't understand it but your pharmacists do and that time they give the medicines but you know it's not human medicines always sometimes it's veterinary medicines and that time no one is there to give you the second mm -hmm. solution for your pet and you know exactly what kind of medicines is going I'm making this video on the terrace so a little bit of sounds is coming so please manage for that so let's begin the video okay yes listen do not forget to subscribe my videos, okay? Subscribe it, like it, and most importantly, write comment below and share with your friends. After giving the subscription, ring the notification bell beside that so that you can get the daily updates whichever video I upload, okay? Hi, I have one quick tip to say you. That is, ask your vet to write down the need and the importance of the medicine beside it okay like let me say Zofar okay your doctor is writing Zofar injection 1 ml then you must ask your vet to at least write that beside that Zofar 1 ml that you have to write it is to stop the vomiting okay Similarly, in that way, if your vet writes down the use of the medicine, then it will be very helpful for you. Ask your vet. I know it's very much hard for the vet to write for everyone, but still, you must ask your vet so that you get a little bit, a little bit more help, so that when you read the prescription later on, you will know that this medicine is needed for this purpose. And you know while you apply the medicines, your vet may have given you the medicine, but the pet is your own, right? So for them, you have to watch it on your own self because you are the person who is giving the medicines and you will be the person who will checking on these things that yes, the medicine is good for my pet or not. If it's not working out for your pet, then you must call your vet and say, please change the medicine. It's not working with my pet. So they will change the medicine, okay? So it's very, very much important for us, our own selves, to read the prescription on our own self, okay? So here are the few common abbreviations your vet may use and you must learn it so that you can check it on your own, okay? How often to give your pet medications? Ad lib as you desire, freely as needed. B I D bid, B D, bis in day, twice a day. P R N, as per needed, pro re letter. Q, every per, Latin quacre. See, this Q, this Q can be written as Q3 H. It means Q means every. So every three hours, then again Q four H, then every four hours. And if it is written that Q D, then it means every day. Because in Latin, D means die. Okay? So it means every day. So check the next. Q I D. Four times a day, Latin, quarter in day. T-I-D, three times a day, Latin, tur in day. When to give your pets the medicine? See, the meal is known as sibum in Latin. And if it is before meal, then it is known as, known as AC, means antisibum. And then if it is after meal, then it is known as post sibum pc okay pc and this one is ac 
in between that meal. Okay. And there is one HS which is known as Harsomia which means the medicine is needed to be given at night before bedtime. Okay. How much medication to give your pet? So yes, now we know that this things you all may know because CAP means capsule and GTT means drop wise you have to give the medicine and with that TAB means tablet and yes, few things people make mistake while giving the medicine is that TBSP and TSP. The TBSP is known as tablespoon. Okay. So the B is in between and TSP means teaspoon. Teaspoon is 5 ml whereas tablespoon is 15 ml. Okay. Don't make that mistake. Do not make. And what more? Yes. SS. SS means one and half. It can be either tablet or it can be any liquid drops too, okay? Anything. But SS means one and half. Other you know that ML, milliliter, milligram, mg, those are very easy, right? So let's go to the next one. How to use the medications? Now listen, Oris, okay? Oris means yours, okay? And anything written with OD and OS means Oris Dextra and Oris Sinstra. Oris Dextra means the right ear you have to give the medicine. And if it's Oris Sinstra, it means the left ear. Yes. And with that Oculus, you can say, Ocular means eyes. The eyes can also be written as D and S. Okay. D, S. Dextra, D. Sinstra, S. Dextra means right. Sinstra means left. Oris means ears. And oculus means eyes. Okay. A, D, A, S means it is saying about ears and if it is written that OC, OS or OD then it is ocular it means eyes there can be written as apply tropically AAP or it can be written as lotion then LOT and then mixture, MIX means you have to mix the medicine, then give the medicine. And similarly, dilute, DIL it is written. These are very easy things. You know it already, but still just informing. And that's all. That was the video. I hope now you will be very easy and you will have no problem while reading the prescription because all those derivations are written in the prescription by doctor while doctors write the prescription okay so try to read your prescription which you have and do let me if you find any new words any new short forms so that i can inform you what's that for bye let's see in the next video bye bye